So we are looking at Coulomb's law. What is the unit of charge? Um, <clears throat> and what is the symbol for that unit? unit? So this is a totally different unit altogether. It's something you probably never heard of, but we're trying to uh, measure, quantify charge. This is different than in chemistry where you just counted electrons and protons. Um, but uh, in physics, we use the unit of a coulomb, you know, which is represented with a capital C. So this is like we measure distance in meters, we measure force in newtons, we measure the amount of charge in coulombs. So in chemistry, you, you counted electrons. So how does the charge of an electron compare to a coulomb? Well, an electron is really small. It's a uh, charge of negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. So how many excess electrons make up one coulomb? A whole lot. Uh, negative one coulomb charge is 6.25 times 10 to the 18th extra electrons. So it's a pretty big amount of extra electrons. Coulomb's law is electrical force is equal to uh, this constant times charge one times charge two over the distance of separation squared. So here are the, the different things. So K is a constant, 8.99 times 10 to the ninth charge uh, Q1 and Q2 are the charge on two different objects. And R is the distance of separation between the centers of those charged objects. Uh, so what does Coulomb's law describe? It describes the strength or the magnitude of the electrical force of attraction or repulsion between two charged objects. So it looks at the electrical force between those. Um, so what would cause this electric, uh, electrical force to increase? So looking at this equation, uh, we're not going to change K. K is a constant, 8.99 times 10 to the ninth. But if we increase the charge on either one or two or both of those, this is directly proportionate to uh, electrical force, or we could decrease the distance of separation between the two because that's inversely proportionate to electrical force. So how do we determine the direction of the force on the charged object? Well, you need to look at the scenario and say, you know, if it's if two charged objects are oppositely charged, so you have a positive charge and a negative charge, then there will be attraction between the two. And those two forces, so you have a positive and a negative, those two forces, there will be an electrical force of attraction between the two, pulling each other towards it. So this guy would be, be pulled to the right, this guy would be pulled to the left. Um, and if they have the same charge, well, then they'll be repelled, pushed away from each other in opposite directions. Okay. So you have to look at the scenario to figure out the direction. Um, it's kind of, this Coulomb's law looks kind of similar to something you've already seen. That's right, gravitation. Check that out. And we'll talk more about that later. But they have the same structure. They have a constant times two objects divided by the distance of separation squared. So this is kind of why we um, hit that whole inverse square law thing. Um, <clears throat> so you got two forces. Which do you think is stronger, gravitation or electric? Well, because... Um, electric because the constant is multiplied by 10 to the positive ninth versus g is to the negative 11th. So this is a huge number. This is a really small number. And that's that.